Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga, and we are here for this short class to de-stress, relieve stress and anxiety. So we'll take a few moments of mindful awareness, come to a seated, uh, comfortable position for yourself. I'm in Siddhasana where the heels line up. I'm also sitting on a brick, so if you need to sit on something, please do and bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. And just allow the eyes to close, take a few moments to feel grounded through the sitting bones and tune in to the flow of the breath. So when we reach a point of overwhelm, we can feel our breath is shallow. We can feel aches and pains in our bodies. And like our minds are racing. So take a few moments to observe how you're feeling in this moment. With no judgment, just observe. Known as we embark on this healing path of yoga to bring compassion and kindness to yourself. So feel on the inhale, the breath lengthening up the spine. And feel on the exhale, a softening around the shoulders. And as you gently bow the head, you may wish to plant a seed of intention, a positive seed in the heart space. It might be to feel more relaxed, more grounded, more in the moment. So then take a deeper breath in. And exhale as you gently open the eyes. Releasing the hands down, we'll begin by releasing the neck. Take an inhale. Exhale, release the left ear towards the left shoulder. And gently bring the right fingertips down beside you just to increase that stretch. You might even press the palm down to see. Big inhale. Big exhale. And if it feels suitable to you, you may bring some gentle movement to this. So maybe inhaling as you roll the head forward. Exhaling as you roll the head down. So we carry so much stress around our neck and shoulders. So just beginning to relieve and also build that body-mind connection. And then inhale as you come forward. Exhale back to center. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, release right ear towards right shoulder. And again, place the fingertips of the left hand down, just slightly beside you, slightly behind if you want to deeper stretch. Big inhale. Don't resist any tension. Just feel, allow yourself to feel and breathe, knowing that all is well in each moment with each breath. You can practice or each moment being well as we continue to release stress, alleviate anxiety. So on the inhale, you can rock the chin forward. And exhale as you roll the chin back in. I'm doing this twice more, inhaling. Sensation of breath, exhaling. The last one. Just keeping a squeeze of the pelvic floor, exhaling. And then inhale as you lift back to center, release the hands. Exhale, just have a little shoulder shimmy there just to ease that out. So from here, I'm coming off my perch, you might wish to too. So keeping the left leg parallel with the front of the mat. On the exhale, take the right leg back behind you. This is modified by Vagasana or mermaid pose. And just bring the fingertips down. Know that you'll be in a state of asymmetry here. Take an inhale. And exhale. So you may have a heightened awareness of that right inner thigh. Just begin to soften there as we begin to work into the hips. Nice steady breath. Feeling that you can surrender to gravity on the exhale, but allowing the inhale to lift the heart. Now option two here on the exhale is to bring the fingertips forward. I'm take this to a gentle forward lean. Might bring the palms down, just see. Keep the back of the neck long. Everything you feel, try not to tense, just try to release with each exhale.
And then inhale, walk the hands back in. Exhale as you arrive. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, turn into your left side. So bring the right hand over, left hand goes behind. Inhale. Exhale, gently roll the left shoulder open. And gazing over to that left side. So you may feel a big release on the iliopsoas, the hip flexor. We carry a lot of our emotional baggage in the hips according to yoga philosophy. So as you feel the tightening, tensing, grippy sensations, just give yourself permission to let go. So say, body, it's okay, we can let go. Each exhale, all is well. We're just sitting, breathing, and feeling. We we'll take one more breath. Good, engage the pelvic floor. Inhale as you bring this back to center and exhale. From here, carefully take hold of the right shin. On the inhale, bring the right leg forward as we change sides. Exhale, take the left leg back. You might need to roll the calf tissue out of the way or you might need to uh, be higher up. So again, just sit how you need to be, feeling that asymmetry. Take an inhale. Exhale, just allow yourself to settle. Good, feel those opposing forces, lower body settles. This crown of the head lifts. Might be different on this side. Keep the breath moving. So again, option two, you can bring the fingertips forward, inhale. Exhale, you can stay on the fingertips or bring the palms down, gently draw the chin in. I'm just feeling everything that's happening, all those different sensations. And also feeling how our emotional states change. So we don't need to attach too much significance to them. We can allow them the space. And then we can allow them to move on like clouds through the sky, onto the next emotion, onto the next moment, the next breath. So then inhale as you walk it back in. Exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. We're back to the twist. Exhale, turning to the right side. So left hand comes over, right hand goes behind. Inhale. Exhale, gently roll the right shoulder open as you look to the side. Gazing gently into the eyebrow space. This is your drishti, your gaze point, your focus. Giving the mind something to focus on as you breathe really helps to kind of alleviate those feelings of, of being overwhelmed. We just give ourselves one thing or just a few things, somewhere to look, a posture to inhabit, the breath to move. And simplicity can be the key to peace. So then engage the pelvic floor, inhale as you come back to center and exhale. Inhale, so from here, we're going to stretch the legs out, the length of the mat. You can shift the sitting bones back. Again, sit on something, please, if you need to. If you have any hypermobility in your knees, feel free to bring a brick or block underneath the back of the knees, or if your quads are particularly tight, so stay nice and comfortable. As you arrive here, we're coming into Paschimottanasana, forward bend. So on the inhale, just gently lift the heart forward. That's to keep the back nice and long. Draw the toes back gently and exhale. You can just bring the fingertips down. Find the breath. And try to let go of any notion of progress or traveling forwards. Instead, try to inhabit the present, which can take some discipline, but just allow the posture to be what it is. Gaze gently towards the toes. This is your drishti now. Gazing and breathing. Be aware of any areas where you can feel gripping or tightening. And just give yourself permission to surrender, to soften those areas. Maybe it's the quads. Maybe it's the shoulders. Maybe it's the jawline. If you feel you'd like to go deeper, feel free. Just inhale, continue to lengthen. Exhale, you can bring the palms down. You can stay exactly where you were. So the key thing is don't bring any stress or force to this. We're trying to relieve stress and anxiety. So you might close your eyes for a few moments. So you can feel the posture from the inside. You can feel sensation, you can drop into the body.
Good, and squeeze the pelvic floor. Inhale as you walk this back up and exhale. From here, we're going to scooch forward so we can lay down on the mat. You might use one of your bricks underneath your head for some support. Please feel free to have a blanket if you need the support underneath the lower back. Roll the palms of the hands open. Just take a breath there. Allow the back to settle. And then on the inhale, carefully gather the knees into the belly for Apanasana. Exhale, you can take the shins or the backs of the thighs, wherever you can get to comfortably. Inhale. Exhale and just have a nice therapeutic rock from side to side. You might inhale to one side. Exhale to the other. So if in doubt, just slowing everything down, moving to the rhythm of breath and body rather than the fleeting, fluctuating states of the mind. And then from here, inhale, come to center, exhale. So from here, you might use your brick underneath the lower back or sacrum. So just do a little lift up, come into Viparita Karani or legs in the air pose. On the inhale, draw the knees in and exhale as you float the toes up into space. Again, find the breath in the inversion. Now it's fine to bend the knees. You might take the legs wide, that feels therapeutic. Shoulders heavy, hips light, toes lighter. Allow the eyes to close. And imagine your mind is dropping down into your heart. Begin to inhabit the deep peace of the heart underneath. All of our everyday cares and concerns. There is this vast inner universe of peace, which we can tap into every time we practice. So then when you're ready to, on the inhale, gently draw the knees in. On the exhale, carefully bring the feet to the floor. On the inhale, press into the heels to lift up so you can take the block from underneath. Exhale. From here, open the palms of the hands, inhale. Exhale, and begin to take the knees from side to side, not too deep, just a little movement to mobilize the back. All is well. And then inhale to center. Exhale, release the legs, coming to relaxation position of choice. A tip, if you have any back issues, like I do, you might wish to have bricks underneath the back of the thighs. This just gives you a bit more space, I found, in your lower back. Otherwise, come into a position which suits you. Take a big inhale. Big exhale out through the mouth. Do this again. Big inhale. Big exhale. Last one, make it a good one. Big inhale. Big exhale. And now taking this time to drift down. Rest and absorb the prana, the good vibes from the practice. If you wish to stay longer, feel free. Stay here, enjoy. Otherwise, deepen in the breath. On the exhale, bend in the elbows and knees as you begin to draw the knees back in. And just have a little squeeze. And you can have a little rock from side to side. Just moving the bricks to one side if you've used them. Rolling over to one side and pausing there for a moment. Feel the bones heavy and maybe cultivate one positive seed of gratitude. However anxious or stressed out we're feeling, there's always something that we can be grateful for. It might be the breath, it might be the practice, it might be the health of the body. 
So then on the next inhale, begin to leave yourself back up to a comfortable seated. So as you arrive, just feel you can sit tall, lengthen the spine and lift the heart space. Bring in the hands to Anjali Mudra as we give thanks for our health and our practice. We'll finish with the sacred vibration of the universe, which helps us to stay present and connected to our inner world, our inner vibration. So taking a breath in. Oh. Take a deeper breath. Exhale, blink the eyes open. So thank you for joining me for this short practice. I hope it has helped. If you like the class, please do press the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Just have a look at the links below and enjoy the rest of your day.